When, so when you get here, what do, what do you see? Well, he was he was laying face down. We had to get a board, turn him over, and then start going through and assessing any of the damage. I am super lucky. I, I, I can't believe it myself. I cut down a tree, and uh, I knew it was a good, a danger tree, but it wasn't that bad. I, I misjudged it, and uh, it, it came down, and it spun because it was crooked. It spun up and I was running away and it caught me in the back. Had it been a standard tree, probably could have dropped it, everything was fine. But it had this huge growth to this side and that spike going out this direction over here. I remember looking back and thinking I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> the tree's gonna get me. Time just kinda, it gets rubbery about that point. They know the danger's coming, but it's this, oh no, kind of a thing. It's, it's crazy, yeah. So when we showed up, he was laying just right here. Good to see it. You know, it broke eight ribs, my sternum, and busted my pelvis in like four pieces or whatever. Didn't hit any of my major stuff. The worst thing I got was some blood clots. And everything else is fixable. They're healable, you know? So I'm so lucky. And my plan is to be walking in a few months here. <laughs> you know? They haven't said anything that would stop me. Yeah. My leg feels like a shark bit it off and they sewed it back on. <laughs> you know, there's always a tree that's going to outsmart you. There always <laughs> is. Because I'm really fortunate to be alive, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. I, I would hate for everybody to learn a lesson like I did.